there's no benefits to the relationship and you're expecting a guy to make all of this money and you're expecting a guy to do all this stuff for you take you out on dates and buy you things for your birthday and you know i mean of course you're supposed to do that but you're expecting expecting us to do all this stuff but you're not even meeting the standard for what a man wants all right in today's topic we're going to be reacting to fresh and fit basically talking about average women don't want average men and that's uh the title here so yeah let's get into it i'll say this i'll say this because what you mentioned uh so on our podcast we talk a lot about pop now before we actually do start i just want to say that these people have really good camera quality the person who owns the podcast i know this is in fresh and fits like little setup but like look at look at how smooth myron's face look <laughs> why did i say it like that but uh yeah this is a freaking this is a smooth camera quality so whoever you know owns the like podcast there you have pretty smooth freaking camera quality but yeah let's continue possibility versus probability so what you mentioned is a possibility that a woman's going to fall in line and be more feminine and follow your masculine leadership yep. but the probability of that in today's landscape with how many modern women are wired and and uh, their thought processes very low it's going to be fairly low and you know and, and, the, and the data shows that we bring hundreds of girls on our show. We, we, you can look at Kevin Samuels. The body of evidence is there. Average women don't want average men. As a matter of fact, they want a man that's above average for them to even contemplate submission. And just to kind of show the craziness of it. So, like, let's say women aren't naturally submissive and they're okay with that. But what if I was to say, well, I'm not naturally masculine. I'm, I'm feminine only when I find – I'm masculine only when I find a feminine woman. That would be like me walking around in heels, wearing hair in a dress saying, oh, no, I'm, I'm only masculine when I find a feminine woman. But that, see, that right. sounds crazy, right, for me to say that. But it's completely <laughs> acceptable on the female side to basically be masculine all the time and feminine when they fi find the right guy. And to me, I look at it like, no, that's a clown world. Like, why, why are you not naturally feminine? And women are naturally masculine on a balance of probability. So we operate on probability <laughs> that most modern-day women, quite frankly, you're going to have to bring so much to the table that they're not necessarily worth it as a higher status guy. That's why we're, we're all about not being monogamous at this point. Cause yep. it's like so many women are, don't even don't want to adhere to their traditional roles, but they expect you to be a breadwinner, taller than a mask and all this other stuff. Oh man. Now I, I respect, I respect fresh and fit. Like I, I think they got some good content. Um, there's some things that I do disagree with, but Myron has a point about this one. He's basically saying that an average woman, wants a man that is higher than the average man. Like if a man makes 50K, which is the average amount that a man makes, a woman wants a guy that has like 80K. There's many guys that have proved it. The top 10% of the men are the ones who are making above 50K. Usually the man who makes 50K isn't enough for a woman. A woman wants to go for a man who makes above the average amount that a man makes. And Myron is also saying that they hardly put anything on the table and they expect this 20% of these guys doing all this while the woman is only doing this amount. That's what Myron is saying. And I, I, I completely agree because what do women do that would benefit us in a relationship besides just having sex, which is normal in a relationship? Like we're, I'm satisfying you, you're satisfying me. But besides that, like, what else are you doing that will benefit us in a relationship? You're not really doing your traditional role. So there's no benefits to the relationship. And you're expecting a guy to make all of this money. And you're expecting a guy to do all this stuff for you, take you out on dates and buy you things for your birthday. And, you know, I mean, of course, you're supposed to do that. But you're expecting, expecting us to do all this stuff. But you're not even meeting the standard for what a man wants. Do you understand why that it's kind of unfair? I understand where Myron is coming from and some of you guys are hating on him because obviously he said some dumb stuff before because like and, and, and he's getting hate for it. I get where he's coming from, though. So, yeah, let's continue. But they want to be able to kind of shift their roles when they see fit on their situation. So I agree with you 100 percent that if you're high value enough, if you're masculine enough, a woman will fall into her feminine 100 percent. But the probability of that happening is fairly low, especially when we talk with our argument uh, with our uh, audience. 
Like a lot of these guys are average guys, five foot nine, maybe you know, fifty k a year. This is the average man. Most women laugh at that when we bring them on our show. Yeah. Like we don't want that. I want something better. I, t I told them, you're an average woman. Why don't you want an average man? And they literally give me this look, like, well, I want better. And we, it's because we live in a society now where women are kind of put on a pedestal, regardless of how poorly they behave, no matter how fat they are, no matter how crass they are, no matter how rude they are. Because we have all these social conventions, like I was saying. This kind of is like a supply and demand, right? Because like the, the middle the middle of that supply and demand here, let me, let me search it up real quick. Let me pull it up for you. This kind of reminds me of supply and demand, and I'm going to tell you why. If a woman is asking for more, such as more supply, she's also expecting a guy to settle down. It's less likely for a woman to settle down with a guy that be making more than 50K a year. And those be the 20% of men. Versus if you settle with someone that you know is average to your standard, then it's going to work out. If someone that has good personality, someone that makes 50K a year, someone that that is average looking, if you can settle down with a man that is average, then the relationship will work out. But, but most likely, if you try and hire your supply with the man, then it will less likely work out with your demand. If an average man makes 56K a year, while the woman is making about 47K a year, you don't think that the man will still provide and still pay the bills for you? And an average woman who's like five foot five versus an average man who's like five foot 10, you don't think that is tall enough for you? You know what I mean? Like that's all you really need. That's all you should need. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's all you guys want is more. We make more than you guys and you guys want better than average. You guys don't want a man who makes 57K, but it's but it's an exception when you guys be making like 37K a year. Does that make sense? So we're just simply trying to say you guys have to lower your standards when it comes to dating. Why do you think your hearts are being broken? And why do you think there's not a lot of women who are settled down with the man yet? Because you guys just have higher standards. You guys got to learn to lower your standards when it comes to men, like with height, with money. All this type of luxury because you honestly could could you know live with the man that has 57k a year i'm telling you that's it's it's factual men have to level up because female standards have went up period you know yeah, women in yeah, general want to date a superior and that. since women are earning their own money a lot of them enter the workforce and as a matter of fact a lot of them are more educated than men yeah. their standards have went up along with it so guys got to level up if they want an abundance of sexual access but all we're saying is that level up become the best man that you could be yeah. But also date in a defensive perspective right. that, quite frankly, understand that modern day women are going to expect you to be traditional, but absolve themselves of certain responsibilities. Now, is the is the possibility that a girl is going to be out there and submissive and be a, a dutiful girlfriend and a wife? Absolutely. But what I am saying is that based on the numbers, based on the divorce rates, the divorce initiation rates, uh, child uh, child court, uh, family court, etc., guys need to operate on probabilities and not possibilities. So we tell guys. On a balance of probabilities, most girls can destroy you if they wanted to, especially when you got something to lose. So we yeah. teach guys to operate uh, from a defensive standpoint when they date. I tell guys all the time, women can get mad at me. I say, when you date a girl, assume she belongs to the streets unless she proves to you otherwise. Thanks. And the reason why I tell guys this is because a lot of guys have this Disney fairy tale in their head that girls are sugar and spice and everything nice and they're, you know, goody two-shoes, whatever. Hell no. These girls are out here getting dick banging a bunch of dudes, dating monog non-monogamously, banging more dudes in a semester than guys banging their whole life. And th we have the studies to show that too, that women now are more promiscuous than ever before. And not only that, women are, men are reporting the lowest stats of having sex versus other decades. Why is that? Well, we talk about it on the global sexual marketplace, which you can break that down, why so many guys are not getting sexual access. But I say all that to understand, to tell guys, this is the dating marketplace that you're in now. We're not here to complain about it. We're not here to cry about it. This is how you guys adapt, and here's the solution. You need to level up, you need to date with these girls, and put the burden of performance on them. I'm tired of dudes trying to appease and supplicate to women and trying to impress girls. Fuck that shit. Men are the prize, not the women, because I know for a fact when a man deals with a woman, he's got to inherently bring far more value than she does. All she's got to do is be pretty and available. The man has to be taller than her, make money, be confident, be masculine, have, uh, have all these other things, and women have a lot. Man, <laughs> Myron is going hard in the paint right now. There's nothing that he said that was wrong. A woman expects you to have more value than her. So why is it that they always say that they're the prize just because of their looks and their body, right? 
Like, shouldn't we be the prize because we're the one that's offering more to the table, such as our money, our tallness, our strength, our protection? All you guys are offering is just your looks. And I, I don't know. That's it. <laughs> that's Myron's point of view. And he's just saying that he's sick and tired of these men who are simping over these women when that it shouldn't be like that. It should be the women simping over men because, you know, men bring more value. It should be like, if you want that, then you need to simp over them. You need to pursue us. You can't be pursuing them. That's Myron's point of view. And I get it. I understand. But I don't think it's ever going to happen because it's always been getting worse. They just don't realize it. You know what I mean? But let's let's continue this video. We're almost done. A laundry list of requirements that they want on men. So I'm telling guys, hold yourself as you're a king because at the end of the day, men are the leaders. And if a king marries a peasant, she turns into a queen. But a queen will never look a peasant's way. So therefore, you need to act accordingly and put yourself as the prize. The problem is that a lot of guys operate here and try to like supplicate to women. And then on top of that, if they're not sexually experienced, which is why I said you need 50 girls, they're going to look at a girl, not be able to discern that she might not be a good mate for you long term because she was doing some extra shit before. And then they'll, they'll wipe that girl up or they'll take her serious. And then that girl destroys him and, you know, breaks his heart. So I tell guys, operate on defense. Assume she's a hoe. Get mad at me if you want, ladies. But assume she's a hoe and let her prove to you otherwise that she should be kept around. And when you do that, the women are going to respect you more. They're going to understand they have a burner performance on them for once. She's going to be chasing your validation. And that's how you want it. When the man has the leverage, the woman is going to stay happy. But when the woman has the leverage, she's like, oh, this is boring. I don't want to deal with this nigga no more. I'm higher status than him. So guys got to have the leverage. They got to look at themselves on a the prize and let the girls know, yo, Honestly, the burner performance on you. I assume you're a hoe unless you prove to me you're worthy of a relationship. And when you operate like that, bang. <laughs> no, I never. No, man, I've never like. I never heard. I never heard anything like that from my one before. I mean, I've had heard something relatable because he talks about the same things over and over again. But he had a very, very valid point. Now, I didn't really have to pause this video because I already basically said everything I had to say with the supply and demand. The more supply that a man has, this is what a woman expects. Like the more that a, the, the more that a man has in supply, the, the less that <laughs> the less likely that a man will stay with you and will be financially stable with you. Like a like a woman is expecting more, even though the man makes more than what the woman makes average. A man makes 57 K while a woman makes like 47 K. There's a lot more men in the workforce versus women. So obviously the man makes more. They want all this stuff. An average man versus an average woman. And they're asking for more. But he did have some very valid points and I do respect them for it. And I still enjoy their content. You know, I watch a lot of their content. Um, I don't got none against them, even though they said some dumb stuff about, you know, black women, how, you know, they don't, you know, like black women cause they're ratchet and all that. Like, come on dog. Really? But I still respect them. You know, like I still like the points that they made, you know, they're very committed to this and you know, they, they built a business off of, off of all this, man. I, I respect them for that. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys leave a like and also subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. So yeah, my goal is to reach 500 subs by the end of April. So please help my goal out by leaving a subscribe and also leaving a like on this video and turning on notifications for anybody that wants to see more of my videos. It does help me and the YouTube algorithm to, you know, get my videos out there. So I would really appreciate it. But um, yeah, that will be all for today's video. Myron did have some freaking good points, but if you guys think he did, then comment something down below of like what you liked about his point that he made in the video and also leave a like. But uh, yeah, that's going to be all for today's video. I will see you guys later. You guys have a good one. I'm out.